Did the French government really think people would spend half their yearly income on one flight from New York to London? Why, yes. Yes, they did. And as terrible as that idea was, this private company has figured out how to do it right. The British and French government spent a combined 10 billion in inflation-adjusted dollars to develop the Concorde, which promised a supersonic flight between New York and London in under three hours. Some people could afford that level of luxury, enough to keep the Concorde in the air for 27 years, which, to be fair, is 26 years longer than the Soviet Union's supersonic jet lasted. But the supersonic XB-1 baby boom is funded by investor and venture capital money, not yours, which is kind of why they have an incentive to make it work. And its test flight was so successful that the Overture, Boom's supersonic passenger jet, already has over 130 orders from major airlines like American and United. A round-trip flight on the Overture will set you back $5,000, which is still too steep for my blood. But believe it or not, it's only a quarter as expensive as a seat was on the Concorde.